Three-dimensional figures. A two-dimensional figure has two dimensions, the length and the width. Length and width are used to find the figure's area. A three-dimensional figure has three dimensions, the length, the width, and the height. These dimensions are used to find the volume of the figure, or the space the figure occupies. Polyhedrons are three-dimensional figures with faces that are polygons. There are two types of polyhedrons, prisms and pyramids. Let's take a look at the prism. A prism is a polyhedron that has two congruent polygons as bases. The lateral faces of a prism are rectangles. In this prism, we have four lateral faces. The base shape of a prism is used to name the solid figure. A triangular prism has two bases that are triangles. All faces of a rectangular prism are rectangles. For a pentagonal prism, the two bases are pentagons. For a hexagonal prism, the two bases are hexagons. The octagonal prism has two octagon bases. The decagonal prism has two bases that are decagons. Now let's take a look at the pyramid. A pyramid is a polyhedron with one polygon base. The lateral faces of a pyramid are triangles that meet at a vertex. This pyramid has four lateral faces. A pyramid's base shape is used to name the solid figure. In a triangular pyramid, the base and faces are triangles. In a rectangular pyramid, the base is a rectangle. In a square pyramid, the base is a square. The base of a pentagonal pyramid is a pentagon. In a hexagonal pyramid, the base is a hexagon. Non-polyhedrons. Some three-dimensional figures have curved surfaces. These solid figures are not polyhedrons. One example of a non-polyhedron is a cone. A cone has one circular base and one curved surface. Another example is the cylinder. A cylinder has two congruent circular bases and one curved surface. A third example is the sphere. A sphere has no bases and one curved surface. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like. For more videos like this, please subscribe.